Here are three example file resources. Each points to its own directory within the same file share path. What happens if you need to change this path in the future? You could update them all manually, and this might be an easy fix if you only have three resources. But what if you need to update 30 resources, or 300? Variables are the solution to this problem. Instead of rewriting the file path over and over again throughout multiple resources, it's best to create a new variable. Variables begin with a dollar sign, and we'll call this one file share path. By setting this variable to the new path, you'll only have to update one line of code if the path changes in the future. Here's what the resources should look like. Instead of the full file path being repeated in each resource, we've replaced it with our new file share path variable. Start with a dollar sign, an open curly brace, the name of the variable, and a closing curly brace. The curly braces tell your system where the name of a variable begins and ends. Now if you need to update this file path, you can just update one variable instead of multiple resources. There's one other difference to note. Our original resource titles were in single quotes, while our new ones use double quotes. This is an important distinction to understand. When you wrap Puppet code in single quotes, that code is read literally. If we try to use our new variable with single quotes, a Puppet agent will think that the file path is actually at dollar sign, opening curly brace, file, underscore, share, underscore, path, closing curly brace, slash, directory one. By using double quotes, we tell our system that a variable is inside and to interpolate the code rather than reading it literally. Puppet agents will see the double quotes and understand that dollar sign, file, share, path is a variable and to replace that code with the variable's value.